I certainly had a path when I was growing up that I wanted to be a rugby player and, and that was probably my focus. At school, uh, I played on the side of the scrum, flanker, open side a lot of the time. Um, and then as I sort of went into the rep teams, probably wasn't big enough or fast enough for, for the open side. I ended up moving to the middle of the scrum at, at hooker. I, mean, I was sort of a bit small for rugby when I sort of gave up. Um, I was getting bashed up a bit. And I figured if I couldn't play rugby, then I didn't want a real job, so maybe riding a horse was the way to go, and, and that's where I went. When I decided to leave school, I, I thought I'd try and give um, the horses a go. Um, Mum was pretty, pretty uh, kind. She basically said that they'd pay for a ticket overseas for me. I worked for a lady called Jane Thelwell, who had just won Burley Horse Trials uh, the year before, um, which is sort of the biggest event in in sort of England at the time um, and really got to, um, I was there for nearly nine months and learning everything good and bad about becoming involved as a professional horseman and uh, certainly understanding the amount of work that's involved, uh, the livery side and um, which they call in England sort of looking after the horses and um, the maintenance and, and the, the education process for the horses as they're going through um, different levels. Uh, uh, whilst I was there, I was, I was fortunate at the end of that trip to see the World Equestrian Games. It was the first time all of the disciplines had been brought together. Uh, it was over in, in Stockholm and got to see the, well, helped out with the, the cooling of the horses for the endurance horses, which is, is you know, it's an integral part of their their competition is being able to get the horses to recover to a certain rate within a certain time so they continue on in the competition and, and we have similarities in, in our sport as well. So seeing that kind of thing um, really opened my eyes to, to whether I could do it, whether I wanted to do it and um, on the way home came, came through America. Didn't spend as much time there but just saw a few different things. Um, went to a few ranches and uh, yeah, really came home and, and basically figured out what I wanted to do and, and how I was going to be able to afford to be able to do what I wanted to do and came home and, and started up a couple of businesses, adjusting horses.